Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Yachting Art Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to, to Botscopy, Botscopy live from Barcelona and Port Ginesta in Spain. Today, dear friends, you, you will uh, come with me aboard this brand new Beneteau Antares 7, the latest model launch, uh, weekend model launch by the French shipyard and for this private tour and private sea trial, yeah, today sea trial too. Let's meet Alexis Shah, product manager at Beneteau. Hello Alexis. Hello Nicola. So this Antares set is the latest model of the Antares range by Beneteau. The Antares range is a strategic offer uh, among all the boats you, you, you develop at Beneteau. Exactly, we, with the Antares range we want to offer families a pocket cruiser offering uh, lots of comfort and versatility on board. Yeah, Weekender, Pocket Cruiser, this is specific program uh, for, for owners. Yeah, it's, it's very versatile, but uh, most of all, the clients and the families can look at a debating program yeah. as well as uh, spending a couple nights on board. And fishing, for people liking uh, fishing. Exactly, fishing or even uh, water sports. Uh, clients are able and uh, boaters are able to do everything with this boat. And, and whatever the, the climate is, because a weekender has a closed, uh, a cl a closed uh, pilot house, and so in that case you can uh, go outside even if the, the weather is not so good, not so sunny like in uh, Port Ginesta today. Totally true, it's a very appreciated feature to be able to have the enclosed wheelhouse as well as the cockpit space. Last year, you, you unveiled uh, the, the, big, the big sister of this Antares 7, the 8. Uh, when we look at uh, the 7, we can uh, consider you have uh, declined the 8 in a smaller uh, length. Exactly, I like to think it's about a big Antares uh, 8, but it's also a big Antares 7. It takes yeah. everything, the new models, have included as comfort or innovation on board. Yeah, in terms of design, uh, when we discover this uh, new model, we, uh, uh, we can't confuse with another model of another uh, the bo boat constructor. It's clearly uh, uh, an Antares by Beneto with uh, gimmicks, key points, key design points of, the, of this range. The design of the Antares is iconic and timeless. Yeah. So the main elements of this uh, design uh, language is an arch on yeah. the roof that is very Famous uh, arch. timeless and uh, of course the hub rails that is very continuous and uh, elongates the line of the boat. So we'll now uh, discover the boat more precisely. A few features of, uh, of the boat, length, width. The boat is uh, 7.48 uh, meters of overall length yeah. and with a hull length of 6.48 meters. Uh, it is as well around 2.50 meters wide which makes it possible to easily trailer the boat and yeah. go to different locations for coastal cruising. Yeah, when we, we have a, a global view of the boat we can discover four different areas aboard, social areas, bathing platform, cockpit, forward section, forward deck and, uh, and pilot house. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, can you explain me how you made uh, the bathing platform uh, change uh, with this new model? We actually made the swim platform flush with the deck, which makes it a big, a bigger space to step on when you uh, yeah, board the boat good idea, yeah. and when you uh, come back from the water after swimming. Yeah, you you go aboard on the starboard, you go in the water from port side. And uh, between the the uh, outboard engine, your partner with uh, your team up with uh, Suzuki. Which different uh, engine do you offer uh, uh, on this Antares 7? Uh? 200 horsepower would be our uh, maximum horsepower on this boat, yeah. but we also offer packages with 175 and 150 horsepower. Surely the 175 is the best uh, choice in terms of uh, performances, consumption, and cost. Totally true, yes. Yeah. So let's go aboard. Dear friends, come come with me. We are a few thousand now aboard. There is place enough. Wow. 
first of all, a, a great cockpit, a great cockpit with a strong evolution uh, in comparison to the, 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 the old model. Uh, can you explain to our uh, viewers how you, you organize this cockpit, uh, uh, Alexi? So the cockpit, as you see it here, it's uh, how it's appreciated by, our, by voters and by our clients. The U-shaped cockpit yeah. makes a very comfortable sitting area for the family and friends. Yeah. But for this evolution... Yeah, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six people comfortably can sit around the table. Exactly. You can the enlarge the table. The table extends to easily uh, have a drink or, uh, wow. or lunch with uh, six persons. Very good. And and you shape because it becomes a eye shape when you totally <laughs> you store we the need to uh, actually use a wow. more modular approach with the U shape sitting and with the ability to uh, fold the port side lateral bench, uh, which is very practical if you don't need the sitting. You then have the space yeah. to direct uh, access. access. It's easy to uh, good place to to fish. You have a, a new. Uh, what uh, what is this evolution? It's new aboard uh, an Antares. It's a new infinity uh, infinity cockpit uh, carpet. Carpets? It's a new option for an infinity cockpit carpet that uh, dresses the boat uh, quite nicely. Yeah. and uh, is very well appreciated since the launch of the boat. Directly inspired from uh, the US market, Infinity. Yes, uh, this is a product we already used on some of our uh, inboard lines in the US. Yeah, really comfortable to walk on. Very sweet. Oh, wow. So what you look at here is uh, an innovation on this size of boat and yeah. something unique actually in this segment for this size the hull uh, side boarding door. Boarding, boarding gate, boarding. Really practical when you are at marina or when you are at moorings too. Mooring, marina, it improves the circulation in the cockpit and it's an additional access to the water. Yeah, and when you fish, it's really practical to, uh, to put fish uh, on board. Really good idea. A lot of storage aboard the uh, outboard model with a, a big storage uh, under the, the cockpit. Yes, that's a uh, big central storage uh, for the life rafts, batteries and uh, the water tank. Very practical. In terms of uh, organization, board layout and organization, you, you chose a specific layout, uh, Alexi, with a, a, a bigger uh, sideway on a uh, starboard exactly the main side deck is on starboard and that would be your uh, your main access to the bow area but you can also use a smaller port side one yeah and uh, the advantage is to increase the volume inside the pilot house yes it's uh, something we can't make compromise on because uh, Antares customers are expecting to find a lot inside the boat as well so let's go to the front deck to discover the sand pad. Mm. Alexi, we do a great job at last because we are in Barcelona, it's sunny. I'm we are in November, October, November. Mm. We, it's a good place here. Huh? It's a very comfortable place in the Borea of the Antares 7. Oh, it's directly inspired from uh, Nordic Europe. We do sell a lot of boats in uh, Scandinavia, so yeah. we need the bow uh, platform and the ladder to uh, to board the boat from the, the bow. Very well, practical to uh, for doing a top and go uh, at uh, at marina. What is uh, now quite a, a very practical functionality is here. The roof hacks. So, some years ago, it didn't exist, but now everybody wants. Yes, it's uh, it's been a trend that is now uh, actually uh, <laughs> a very wanted feature and function to be able to store a paddleboard on the roof yeah. uh, instead of having it on the side of the sideway uh, blocking the view. Uh, the paddle. So now 
let's discover all the interest of a uh, weekend abroad. This interest uh, consists of his uh, uh, pilot house. In fact, in a seven meter long boat, we can sleep with three, or three people or, or four people with children inside. We can cook. We have a fridge. When we are sailing, it's possible to have all the, the guests facing the sea. Wow. In fact, with the, the, this boat, uh, we can live aboard. Yeah, you can look at going uh, for a coastal cruise for a couple of days or even weeks. With such a boat, we can uh, go with friends to fish at uh, five in the morning uh, uh, till uh, till noon, and in the afternoon we go back with all the family <laughs> at mooring the, with children. It's very versatile, and that's what uh, that's what the Antares uh, owners are liking in this product. Versatility with this very big bed at the forward part of the piloting station, pilot house. Toilets and a very long storage under under the the table. Yes, actually a new storage accessible from uh, here at the top loader and from the cabin. Wow. For performances, uh, for performances, Alexis. Maybe the best way would be to, to try the boat together? Uh, totally, yeah. We are so going to go out at sea and test this boat. See you uh, immediately. So we are off uh, Port Ginesta in the Barcelona Bay. Uh, Alexis, uh, Alexis Char, uh, the Bay of Barcelona is really a specific in terms of, uh, of sailing. Yes, it can get quite choppy here in the bay of uh, Parginesta because the waves are uh, entering in collision with the cliffs and yeah. uh, today it's, uh, we have good condition for the Citroën. Wow, it's a good condition. Uh, before uh, testing this, uh, this Antares uh, 7 with our uh, viewers, um, I would like we, we, show, uh, we show them all the technical uh, access to, to this boat. First of all, uh, uh, fuel. Where, sure. where do we refuel uh, this Antares 7? So the fuel inlet is located on starboard on the aft of the boat. Okay, really practical. And it goes with the short power uh, cable connection here on port side. Yeah, classical location. In terms of accessibility, ergonomics, you did a great job at, uh, at Beneto for all, uh, all uh, uh, in relation to uh, electricity and, uh, and uh, dark water. Yes, so all the battery breakers are located at the entrance in the wheelhouse. On really the left. practical when you, you, you go aboard for the first time uh, of the week or since a uh, few weeks to, uh, to check the boat. Exactly, and it goes uh, here with the Synapse uh, box. What does uh, uh, Synapse consist of? Uh, Synapse Alexis? is a standard connected boat system offered on all the Beneteau models yeah. starting this season. And it provides to the owner the location of his boat on all time on an app uh, connected with his phone. And it also gives indication about the battery level, uh, the fuel tank level, uh, the engine hours, and uh, uh, of course, the uh, location of the boat. Yeah, really complete, really practical, daily practical. All the standard voltage is here under the, the galley. Practical too. Here we have the 12 volt network. Up, open. What do we find in, in this uh, storage under your feet, uh, Alexis? So here you'll find your uh, black water tank uh, location. Okay. Under my feet, under the bulkhead, is a 50 liter water tank uh, for this boat. Yeah, and under my feet here, it's a windscreen uh, cleaning water. Yes, and also additional storage space. Yeah. Uh, the fuel tank is located in the 
in the cockpit uh, storage under the cockpit table, uh, I think. Yes, it's in a cocoon, so ventilated uh, in the cockpit locker. Okay, very good. All these, these locations are really practical, daily practical when you, when you sell your boat. Yes, we wanted to make the life of the owner easy with the technical access, which you need to access every every minute on the Aboard. on the boat. Yeah. So we will now uh, share uh, with our viewers about performances. We are not about a sporty boat, at last, uh, indeed. It's a, a family boat, but with a 200 horsepower Suzuki engine on the rear, at the at the aft. Yes. We can imagine good uh, performances. Performances are quite good with the 200 with a stop speed up to 32 knots yeah. and a cruising speed around 22 knots. So we'll uh, share with our viewers uh, the top speed. Okay, let's okay. go. So um, uh, I said it was uh, not uh, this Antares 7 was not a, a sporty boat indeed, but uh, uh, we reach uh, 32, 33 knots top speed at this speed. We are at uh, 5,800 RPM for a fuel need of uh, 71 liters per hour. Oh, it's quite a good acceleration. With this boat, we have tested a Zero to 20 knots in seven seconds. It's quite a good sensation by piloting. And the, the boat is planning at around between 19 and uh, 17 and 19 knots. Uh, maybe we could now say at uh, 21, 22 knots. Uh, I believe uh, normal cruising speed of this uh, this model. Yes. Now we are at uh, 20 knots. Uh, RPM is uh, 4,200 uh, uh, RPM and we are consuming uh, 30 liters of uh, gas per hour. Yeah, really uh, good level, good efficiency. Sound is, uh, of the Suzuki outboard engine is quite, uh, quite nice. We can show our viewers the maneuverability of the, of the boat, how to turn. A very good view. No bad, bad surprise to wait for this boat, it's really a family one. The feeling we have by sailing aboard this Antares 7 is security. We are well protected in the uh, pilot house and well protected but with ventilation with uh, side windows with the side windows uh, Alexi yes very well ventilated thanks to the side windows and also the opening uh, of food it's uh, always uh, always about because we can imagine to sail even if the weather is not perfect uh, like today in uh, Barcelona yeah exactly it's the versatility of this boat it can be uh, used all of year around and with different programs. With different programs. Uh, as a conclusion, Alexi, why should a, a boat owner uh, have interest uh, in this Antarest 7 on the weekend market? Uh, if you are looking for a boat with a capacity of berth for three people and protection, Antares is really bringing it uh, with uh, also uh, a design that is very iconic. Yeah, a lot of uh, functionalities aboard. Uh, as a conclusion, a nice price. The price, the price uh, starts at uh, fifty thousand for a boat without engine, and uh, for this boat, as it is equipped, you're looking at a price of around uh, ninety thousand euros. Thank you very much, Alexi. Thank you, Nicola. So I hope you had the same pleasure I had to, to discover and to, to try this Benito Antares 7 of Port Ginesta, Barcelona, Spain. See you soon on Bot's Copy.